Transformations. Reflections. Compared to all the other types of transformations, you would think the reflections would be easier. I mean, all you have to do is reflect the shape. How hard can it actually be? And then the truth is, these are actually kind of weird to draw out correctly. And we can't always rely on our eyes to get the correct version of the shape drawn in. But, no sweat, we have it correct. So, with reflections, the best tool to use is, surprise, surprise, tracer paper. The reflection line reflects the shape on the grid, onto the opposite side of the reflection line, forming a reversed shape, the exact same distance as the first shape from the reflection line. A question we could be asked is, reflect shape A along the line Y equals 2. Label this shape B. Now in order to do this, we need to draw the reflection line on the graph. And we do this at the point where y equals 2. Then we copy out the reflection line and shape A onto tracing paper. Now to show us where the reflected shape will end up, we reverse the tracing paper and align the mirror line on the tracing paper with the mirror line in the question. Where the shape ends up is where the reflected version of our shape will transform to. We simply draw this in on the real sheet of paper and we label the shape B. Question done. So, what if we are asked to find the reflection line of two shapes on a grid? Well, what do we know about the two shapes that reflect onto each other? We know that they will be equal distance from the reflection line. So, if we matched all the corner points from both of the shapes to each other, and then we mark the halfway points between the lines that we've just formed, all we have to do is match up these halfway points and this will reveal our reflection line. And just like that, question done, on to the next. If you like this series, be sure to comment, like and subscribe to be kept updated on new in-depth videos and most importantly share. I mean, what's the point of knowledge if you can't share it, right? And if we can make some people not give up on maths because of these videos, then our job is done. Thanks again for watching and for learning. Peace.